Hi Polly, it's, uh, it's coming up to that time of year where you're, uh, you're getting phone calls about me left, right and centre and you're also trying to run a semi-professional football team. So just, just give us an insight into what it's like at Christmas for, for, for yourself. It's it's uh, it's been difficult. I enjoy it. That's why I've stuck it for so long. Um, I normally uh, get out of bed about half past two, twenty to three in the morning. Get to work about three-ish, and um, at the moment it's it's a long day. I normally finish work about five, six o'clock in the evening. And the phone is constantly ringing, um, and then you know with the football as well. You know we train once a week, midweek games, Saturday. Um, it's a lot to all put together. Even when it's not Christmas and you've got a midweek game, you're basically hopping home and you've got to go to work a couple yeah. of hours. How do you actually manage that in the midweek game? It's um, when I used to play, um, I, I found it a lot easier than what I do now that I manage. Um, you know, because I never had to go to the boss and ask to get time off in the afternoon because I normally finish by about 11 a.m. Um, or midday, and so I had the rest of the day to myself. Uh, so travelling away, especially when I played in the conference. You know, I could, I could handle it. Um, I can always remember uh, many years ago playing for Charlton in the FA Cup and we drew Bidford, Bidford at home and, um, and we had to go away there midweek. And I got back at three o'clock in the morning and I had to go straight off the coach to work and um, I couldn't do that, couldn't do that very often. Yeah, but will you actually get any time off over Christmas with the football fixtures and the busyness of work? Were you actually going to have any sort of break over Christmas? I, I've got Christmas Day off, so um, I'm looking forward to that. And then we've got a game on Boxing Day um, at home to Banbury, um, at the Jubilee, and then, um, then back to work. And then um, we've got Bishop's Cleave on the 3rd of January. Everyone will know you have a good playing career, but what is it about management that you know, love it? There must be times where you you are exhausted almost, but you still love being on the touchline, running a team. So what is it you know, that you've never been involved in? I've, I've been involved in football since the age of about 13 or 14 years of age. And I, I was fortunate to you know, play at a reasonable level. You know, I, I, I lived the dream for a few years, being a full-time pro. And you know, coming part-time, I generally feel that being a semi-professional football is a lot harder than being a full-time football. And, over the years I've, I've met a lot of people, made a lot of friends and, and a lot of characters as well. And in the job I do, you know, you, you need an outlet and my outlet has always been my football. Yeah, each of United nice you missed out in the playoff semi-finals last year, but this season hopefully you can be up there again. You've just had a great result against the league in December. Yeah, um, you know, we've had a bit of a mix and match season so far. Um, we're unbeaten now in eight, won six, drawn two. Um, whether we can go on another run like we did last season, We'll wait and see, but it's it's going to be difficult. But you know, hopefully we can you know be in the mix at the end. Yeah, and it's, it's a club with potential, isn't it? The new setup there, with the, the grounds, the social facilities, the, the training pit, the youth pitches around the outside, yeah. the access from the main road. It's, it's all set up for to progress, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, Evesham were without the ground for a, a long time, and um, you know they found it very very difficult. And eventually moved to this ground a few seasons ago, now three years ago, now, I think it is. And they found it difficult, especially playing at home, where teams would come to Evesham and lift their game, and they struggled to win uh, their home games. And because of that, the team struggled. Um, they got through, I think it was uh, three, four managers inside 16 months. And so, you know, I got off with the job, and you know, I said I, I told the chairman that I, I was in for the marathon, not for the sprint. And I think I've uh, just. Uh, just over two years being there now, with, you know, with Boyle's there helping me, I've got Richard Smith, I've got Stuart Knight and Pete Solis, I've got a good team behind me as well. Yeah, and um, that, that what your hopes for the rest of the season, because you, you're quite well positioned now, as you said, you've been on a, a good unbeaten run, you quite hopefully we can be up there. Well, it's been a bit frustrating really, because as you said, we're unbeaten an eight bit, we don't seem to be moving up the league. Um, the teams above us have kept winning, so it has made life a little bit difficult, but we've beaten some of the teams above us, which you know is encouraging, but, but on the downside, we, we've been dropping points to a few teams that are below us. So, you know, there's a long way. There's an awful lot of points to play for. We're still over 60 points to play for, yeah. Yeah, and we started off talking about the meet, and I'd like to finish off Because you, you're there pretty much all night, aren't you, at, at work. So, can you talk us through a typical night um, at the depot? A, a typical day, uh, as I said, you know, I get to work about th three. Um, there, unloading. Um, then we start loading 
lorries at about 4.30 in the morning and uh, I've got eight vehicles um, so it takes a while to get them all loaded and we're normally finished by about you know seven half seven but with it being Christmas the lorries are getting away a little bit later um, because of the volume of meat that's coming in and going out um, so the hours are longer at Christmas and so Christmas as much as I look forward to it normally on Christmas day I, I spend an awful lot of time sleeping and then you do go as far afield as Leicester, don't you? Which is, you know, so you're sending meat out quite all, a long all over. Yeah, all over. And you know, it's uh, the thing that I've found over the years. You know, at work, it, um, the job on in is very competitive. Exactly the same as what it is with football. And uh, I thrive on that. You know, and uh, I hate losing at any any sport, any job. So uh, you know, let's move on.